What's going on folks? This is Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV and what I got for you right here is a 2018 Montana High Country 352RL. It's uh, it's starting to rain a little bit here so let's just get right into those specs so we can get inside as fast as we can. Alright folks, we have a total length of 36 feet 9 inches, a height of 12 feet 9 inches, a fresh water capacity of 64 gallons, a gray water capacity capacity of 98 gallons and a black water capacity of 49 gallons. It has it has a dry weight of 10,805 pounds and can comfortably sleep four. Alrighty y'all, let's run it. So we do have um, fiberglass sidewalls with an aluminum sidewall caging. Um, all of the paint looks pretty great on the fiberglass. We do have a little bit of cracking on some of our vinyl decals, but nothing more significant than cosmetic damage. Um, here is our pass-through storage area. You get a nice full pass-through storage area and you don't have to worry about a frame. So you could stack multiple tote boxes on top of each other in here. Um, just gives you a lot of storage. That is really nice um in here is our um lp tanks we do have a 60 pound lp capacity we also have just um our fiber or our our slide outs um are covered underneath so you don't just have exposed fiberglass or not fiberglass um exposed plywood or luon which is really nice that's going to help with leaks a lot over here you can see we have a six gallon water heater um or actually excuse me i believe it's six gallons but it has 18 gallons per hour is how they um is how they marketed it i couldn't find exactly how it holds but it's 18 gallons an hour i know a lot of six gallon heaters um can do 12 to 16 gallons an hour so that's really nice to have um I squeeze through here do a little bit of more talking on the outside we also have a AC unit that is 13,500 B or 13,000 BTU and a um, a furnace that is 35,000 BTU we also have prep for a 5.5 kilowatt onon generator We can walk around this side. See our second slide out with our all frameless windows. We do have a 17 foot awning. Um, but as well as aluminum wheels, um, they are 16 inches. Let's just climb right inside before we start getting wet because I'm starting to feel it come down, folks. Um, also, we do have these really nice, sturdy, solid steps. Alrighty. Alright, let's step inside. So right here, I will first point out that there is not a dinette table. Um, but... Um, that is potentially something we would place in here once purchased during our systems inspection. That's something I would have to confirm with our service coordinator. But uh, we do have um, these really nice um, leatherette theater seating. Um, if you can check out these very cool little wood inlays up in the roof that contain the lights just a nice little aesthetic choice all of our woodworking around the high country looks pretty great um, this wooden crown molding over here we have our couch with some over the head storage these both do recline um, right here we have a 5100 btu everlight furnace and then we have prep for a TV right here. And then over top, we have a little bit of pass-through storage. Right here, we have what appear to be armrests. Wonder if we can find what they go to, folks. Um, but right here, we have our pantry 
absolutely gigantic pantry. I dare you to try to fit enough food in here. Um, you get three big large shelves with that second kind of, uh, with the floor acting as a fourth. They are all set really nice and high apart from each other so you could fit just about anything you wanted on any of them. You could lose, use the lower part as um, utility storage if you wanted like a blender or an air fryer, you could store that stuff down there and then have all this room for food. Um, just a fantastic pantry overall. As we come through this kitchen, we do have solid surface countertops everywhere. We do have an island. I always love when you have an island in a fifth wheel, just gives you a lot more prep space. You could have somebody making something over here and somebody making something over there if, um, if you were trying to put together a big meal. But it is just something um, really nice to have is that second island. We can open it up. We have our 50-50 stainless steel sink. We also do have a residential ceiling fan in here, I should have mentioned, as well as we have a quiet ducted AC where we don't have our um, our actual AC intake in the roof. It it comes through these two ducts right there. It's sucked up through, through those two ducts. It just helps it, um, helps it, um, you know, be a lot quieter in here when you're running. The ducts are also lined with styrofoam, which is going to help quiet it a lot. Um, but over here, we have our three burner stove, a stainless steel oven. I'm not sure the exact cubic foot of that, but it looks a little bit larger than your average RV um, oven. Up here, we have the 30 inch microwave. And then cupboard storage for plates and stuff on either side. We have down here drawers for every utensil you could care to hope for or imagine. Um, over here, we have uh, more quite large shelving. And let's step back, let's check out under the sink too. A lot of room under the sink. Great place to put cleaning stuff, cleaning supplies, things like that. And we do have, ta-da, a genuine designated trash can pullout. That's fantastic. Nothing makes me happier than designated trash storage other than designated shoe storage, folks. Um, it is just something that's really nice to have because if you have this big, beautiful coach, it looks so nice, so clean, like a real residential area, and you don't have designated trash can storage what you just have to tie off a trash can over or a trash bag over here kind of just ruins the aesthetic of your nice camper to have a random hefty bag hanging out of nowhere um so it is really nice to have that designated storage also we have a 12 cubic foot refrigerator um by the way this does run all the way through so you can put larger items right there but very nice stainless steel two-way refrigerator um, over here we have a wine rack that is pretty nice um, it's very seldom that you can see wine racks in um, fifth wheels and stuff just a cool little like a nice little feature to have you know it's probably not something that's gonna make or break your purchase, but it is just a cool little feature. Here's some more storage. These, um, these cabinets all, by the way, have real hardwood doors, as I well believe these are also hardwood face frames, or just real wood face frames. I mean, not actually hardwood. Although it would be weird to make your cabinets out of something like pine. Um, let's see, anything else I want to show you guys over here? Oh, something very fun. Uh, we do have a sunroof with a shade, or not a sunroof, a, um, a moonroof more so. Doesn't open. Uh, here we have a little bit of a coat closet. You can hang your dirty coats in here after you come in from the gross wet rain, like right now. Um, but up here we have our control panel. Just a little storage space for things. You could put keys in there. I put a little key rack or something. Um, just extra storage. 
we are missing the uh, the door right here. Um, that is something we will replace. But it looks like it is hinged um, a third of the way through the door, so it's going to open nice and still give you a walkway through here while the door is open. And we can come in here. We do have a seamless fiberglass shower. The really nice big shower seat. Pretty big shower head as well. And then we have a let's see folding glass door. This toilet is porcelain. Then we have really very deep, very deep shelves in there. Store every single towel in the East Coast in there, folks, as well as we have towel hanging racks over here. But those nice big shelves for all your bathroom storage. And then for your simples, like um, toothbrushes and stuff, we have a medicine cabinet. Alrighty gang, now to the master bedroom. We do have a king bed, I believe. Let me hear. I always do a test. Spread, see how far my arms can go out. Oop, def most definitely a king bed. <laughs> um, uh, but we do have a king bed. It has a small little side table on either side with a USB on this side, and then we can step in here. We do have a washer and dryer input, so if you wish to put a um, two-in-one washer and dryer in here, um, you know, make your life a little bit easier. Also, I think I spotted something else. Um, this right here, so um, it doesn't currently have it in it, but these hooks on the side are meant to hold a net, and then a net goes in there, and then it acts as your laundry hamper. Um, so I lied to you before, folks, and I'm going to apologize that, but the most important things aren't just um, shoes and trash storage. It is also laundry hamper and laundry storage, you know. A lot of things people don't think about when getting into RVing is um, where are the little things going to go? They like the trash and the shoes and the laundry. And then to have a laundry hamper is um, just kind of a breath of fresh air. If you've camped with a laundry hamper and without a laundry hamper, you will be able to tell the difference, I guarantee you. It is it, it is such a game changer. It is really going to help you clean, keep your whole coach nice and clean and a little bit more organized. Um, um, it's just great to have a designated spot for dirty laundry. Um, so when you're living in this small square footage, you know, every little piece of space counts and every little piece of clutter makes it feel that much more messy. We also, again, have a um, TV or a place for another TV right here. Well, folks, um, I believe overall that might be this... Montana High Country 352 RL. It is a very nice fifth wheel. Um, I always love fifth wheels just because they feel a little bit like home inside. You get those really tall ceilings. I love whenever you get a front bedroom that has a nice big bedroom feeling front end. Um, but overall, I love high countries. Montana always, or Montana high countries always have really nice, cool layouts inside. Um, so folks, that being said, let's take a little bit of a step outside. Look at the look at the um, look at the outside again and talk about pricing. Okie dokie. So the price we have down here on our lot today for the Montana High Country 352 RL is $34,900. Keep in mind that we are fee and haggle free. We want to give you that best price right off the bat so you don't have to fight for it. And we also offer 90 day upgradable warranties on all units 10 years old and newer. And um, keep in mind that we do service our vehicles post purchase. So if there's anything um, that you don't like about the unit, um, post purchase is when we do our major systems inspection where we make it feel, or where we um, go in and really rework on it. And the reason we don't do it until it's purchased is because we don't know how long it's gonna sit out here and we wanna give you that.